My presentation has three parts. The first part, I will present an approach to starting a conversation. In a second, we will actually do a little role play of a conversation. And in the third part, there will be questions and answer session. So please keep track in the second part. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for improvement, you can suggest it right away in the third part. The context, imagine you are in an event, for example, a conference, any kind of conference that some that you're visiting. What we will do here, as an example, we will see a Toastmaster conference, for example, the residential weekend that we have just this upcoming weekend. And in events like that, you're often meeting people for the very first time. You see somebody standing there in a the corner, and you say, wow, this person might be interesting, but how do I start talking to that person? He looks a little bit scary. There's a lot of fear, as Samuel mentioned. It's sometimes a little bit like tie boxing, these conversations. Why is it important? Well, if you just think, if you just think about your best friend, can you imagine one person like that, your best friend? And what does such person mean to you right now? The thing is, if you never know, the next person you are going to meet, maybe that person will over the years will become your best friend. So basically, every person you are not talking to, you are robbing yourself of the chance of getting such a person into your life. Why? What's the problem about that? What's the problem about talking to people you don't know? Any, any hints? Anybody who has similar experience, Vojta? Oh, you don't know which language you may use. <laughs> Excellent. Great, great, great comment. There, there's a, well, you have different approaches. You might just try one and see whether you understand it or not. <laughs> any, other, any other problems with that? Like um, maybe feeling that you know I bother them or you know yeah. kind of unwelcome. Understand. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Like this question: Am I an interesting organization partner in the first place? <laughs> I think that's well. That's what I suffer from very, very often. And I think the answer to that is is quite easy. Well, if you don't talk to the, don't talk to the person, you have zero percent chance that you get a new friend. If you talk to that person, well, you have some chance. And what's even more, more important to understand, I think, is if you just take a look in, at the moment that you're making the conversation, actually what decides whether the conversation will or will not be successful is everything you've done until that moment. Where are you reading interesting books? Where are you doing Thai boxing? Where are you, did you buy a dog or a cat? All this. In the moment that you're actually having a conversation, you can completely relax because you're not actually able to influence that. You need to do all the hard work before. So if you just relax, you have better chances. And the last point is how exactly to do it. And there is a Toastmasters approach in the interpersonal communication at some point. Even before we do the small talk is how to, what's the first words that you tell to the person. And I'm stealing this phrase, it's a magical phrase, it's a phrase that will change your life. From that now on, you always know how to approach a person that's alone standing somewhere in a conference, and it just doesn't matter. You see that person, you just approach that person, and you say, Can I join you? Hmm. And it always works. Please, the next opportunity, just try it. If somebody like, you know, kicks you out after that, you definitely don't want that person to have as a friend. They filter themselves out. Then you've got these four simple steps, levels, and I think you'll be quite there, self-explanatory. First, small talk, nice weather, huh? <laughs> then, facts, where you're coming from, Uruguay, that's interesting. <laughs> then, opinions, what do you think about the Toastmaster tonight? How do you feel about it? <laughs> and then, okay, we're coming up to the feelings. So how do you feel, you know, being in a conference completely alone? Don't you feel scary? You go through all these, and actually, you just build up. You build up the relationship with the person, and then you see either it will work or it will not. And if it doesn't work, you still have a chance to move on and ask somebody else if you can join them. Enough talking. 
Let's do practice. I'd like to invite my beautiful partner, Bianca, to the stage. So there is a guy, his name is Ryan. Mm -hmm. uh, he's usually visiting this club, but he's not here today. Mm -hmm. So he told me, well, Lucas, you should, you should ask, you should come to this conference because it's very interesting. So I came, well, Ryan didn't come. But uh, I'm happy with the connection because uh, now I, I, I realized that also my friend told me about this. So, yeah. Lynn. Yeah, Lynn Gwen. Yeah, I Asian guy. I remember that. I remember him from somewhere. Yeah. He was here. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, tell me, what, what do you think about you know the guy who was guiding through the previous part of the evening? What was, what do you think about him? I think it was good. Yeah, yeah you I, were enjoying. Yeah, yeah, I was enjoying. Yeah, what about you? No, I think he has really some interesting comments. I really like McDonald's, and he spoke about McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, think, I don't like McDonald's. No, I don't like I don't go there. Maybe after party sometime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After. So imagine, like, imagine if if you go to McDonald's yeah. and you eat two Big Macs and two packets of fries, how do you feel? Horrible. <laughs> 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 do, do you feel sick? Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really interesting. You know what? I think we have a lot in common. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll swap. We are so <laughs> I think we are, but you know what? I really enjoy talking to you. I yeah. think we should go and get a Big Mac sometimes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's a deal. It's yeah. a challenge. Yeah. If you don't it's mind, I just go uh, be my friend. That was really my pleasure to talk to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Just to maybe make the conversation even better next time. Or if there was something you like, you can mention that as well. Well. Sarah? How do you make the transition to feelings not awkward? To me, that felt kind of awkward and forced. Mm -hmm. do you have, I don't know, maybe. Uh, how do you transition from small mm -hmm. talk to. Right. Completely, how do you feel? Right. Completely agree. So within the five minutes, we sure. started condensed. Yeah. So it was it was a bit awkward. Yeah, but in general, it's still awkward for me. <laughs> um, I think the best approach to that is you just you just try and you calibrate. So you try and one moment you just go to the well, how do you feel about something? And you see it doesn't work, well fine. I mean there is um, seven billion people on this planet. Well <laughs> you, you, you should you should want and there's like still you know six billion nine 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 and so on. Okay. Just um, and next time you'll try that. Alright. Small suggestion. I know you wanted to face up because we are your audience, but I think when you talk to somebody you should mirror the person, so at least stay face to face because it's more difficult to create a reform when you are not facing each other. I agree, yes. I was like halfway between yeah. talking yeah. to talking to Bianca and talking to Eunice. Thank you, for Daniel. Uh, first I love the structure and uh, the quick progression towards feelings. If I were to recommend something, is uh, uh, the closing. Right. I believe that the closing should be uh, easily put to practice. And if you're in such a setup, you're not going to have a big mac if you don't have each other's contact information. <laughs> what you could do is uh, talk uh, together 
at supper if it's a residential weekend, right. which you can easily do, and if it works, maybe you can agree on Big McDam. Right. Yes, you're completely right. I wasn't fully in the role, I wasn't in the context, tone context, and therefore I missed shot. Thank you. You're right. uh, Stephanie? This is provocative. Then wouldn't you agree that there's a fine line between meeting, if you're, if you're attractive male, attractive female, you're meeting at a conference and you could possibly give the impression you're trying to pick that person up. Mm -hmm. And if that's not your intention, would it not be a good idea to say, for example, oh, my wife and I, or something like that? Because women listen, listen for that stuff. Mm -hmm. If you don't specifically talk about a partner and then you start talking about going to McDonald's together, I might think, you know, what's his real motivation? But I don't know if other people picked up on that. <laughs> right, so um, what, I, what, is, what, exactly, what exactly is the, is the problem you're trying to point out? Um, I, I'm, I'm just throwing this one out that, especially for men, it's um, it's a it's a tricky situation if you if you really are networking and your heart is in networking to to I don't know about you for the female to feel comfortable that you're not hitting on her basically, and how do you do that? Understand. Women are very sensitive to that. Maybe. Yeah, I, um, is it a comment or a question? <laughs> it's a question. I'm throwing that out to the right. Room. I think I th it is similar to, to Sarah's question. You just, mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes if, if you start talking to people, sometimes you just, well, you take the step in the wrong direction and there is misunderstandings. So I guess there is no like clear advice. Because on the other hand, if you, if after five minutes I start talking, I would feel, if I said, you know, my wife and I, I would feel, you know, maybe it's like too, it's too personal. So I would like first try to build a connection and talk to that person about different things before going going there. And it might see they might have different expectations, but I think it's up to the communication just to clarify these things. Did I answer your question? I don't know. I'm curious to know what the women feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, you can answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like uh, for it was like short moment. I. I do at work and going to uh, networking events and I, I used to speak also with men and also with women right and in some ways sometimes it's more easy with men I can say but maybe it's me and uh, and I was also thinking about this like this moment where is the serious conversation and maybe just kind of flirting or I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, I think it's about like both people there, like they have to keep distance in some way, I, I don't know, like, it's still men and women, yeah, can very easily go to, the, yeah, I don't know, I don't have a clue. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're definitely running out of time, yeah. thank you very much for your comments, we can discuss the rest in the pub, Mr. Toastmaster. Mm.